Thank you for coming. I am Kulita Inca from Peru. And um, this opportunity I will um, present some ways or what did I do the last during the last year to outreach newcomers for you now. Um, what a uh, newcomer means for you? So I have points, I have gifts, I have balloons, <laughs> so please say it. What a newcomer means for you? Yeah. First time contributing. First time contributing. Okay. Well, I have some experiences, and I define by these three uh, skills: um, someone who has a computational or IT skills, and I, it is not restricted for me, from my point of view, that it is would be a developer or programming um, people. For me, it also involves people who wants or it's enjoying, uh, people who enjoy to get a stick with technologies like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and people who also design using computers. And um, somebody who has English skills. Not only to read all the manuals that you have um, upload on the web, on the genome you know, documentation, also to share the experience and write your own experience with different solutions of free software. Because not all the hardware, not all the hardware is the same. So one, th one thing can be done in different ways. So it is important for me to share your own experiences online. Also, what if a newcomer is able to upload to a patch? So it ha has to be a coordination <laughs> with the maintainer of the application and also with a bug reporter. So it's, uh, this interaction uh, needs uh, an English skills because, um, well, some, some phrases are not the same in from different languages. And finally, a uh, uh, newcomer has to this vocational skill. What I mean for vocational, I think it's someone who has uh, the self 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 learning vocation, who who is able to ha have solutions um, whenever uh, a hardware limitation like a Broadcom uh, hardware is not recognized or. Someone also who has following the four liberties of free software. Who can tell me the four liberties of free software? Just for in four words. All of us, <laughs> we are. Some of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's someone, one is missing. What else is, ne is missing? We use, we modify, we distribute, and we share also our modifications, right? So, but, well, I have faced some, not issues, but people said, what, what, what do I have to do software or free software if I will don't be paid. So it's so kind of difficult for somebody to understand this philosophy, Linux philosophy. So that penguin represents someone who have, uh, inter has those intersections of the skills. I think all of you have this um, penguin characteristic, as I say. But how can I make that all the penguins get together? Now we are in a WEDEC. We are in person, face to face meeting. But, or maybe in Hackfest on February. But what about besides July or besides February? How do you get in contact with each other? Andre? <laughs> yeah, he does chat and IRC channels and by emails. Other technologies, maybe Skype, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody don't, don't complain about Skype. And 
Well, I define this two ways. If anybody else knows another one, it's welcome to tell me. Well, by in person and by online, right? Mm, how do you do the on face to face or in person mode to outreach to reach newcomers? How do you um, if you want you see someone who has those skills that I mentioned? How do you start to start uh, to talk about Linux? I feel myself sometimes or much of the time where hey I can t I please help uh, you have a moment. Some of you are also in the same way, uh, in the same mood. Well, uh, how can I overcome this situation? Well, this image represents too much for me. I have done this uh, Hakan, Hakan in 2016. But besides that, oh sorry, be after this uh, before this experience, we have uh, the we have done installation pairing of Fedora 21, and we catch some students. I have an um, an alliance with Hackspace Peru. They have some people or students that already are developers or program programmers. Uh, also have some students that they want to learn how to code. Well. The, in the first session, we did the installation on Fedora 21. And in the second session, we tried to build an application. This was last year. And thanks to Fabian Arcon, because he was a GSOC twice, or he is a GSOC student from Peru, and he helped us to do it. And I traveled to the jungle also to spread the, the you know, word, also the Fedora word, and we did install again in their lab labs, we have in the labs, and well, people know more about this GNU and Linux free software philosophy. And then I also traveled to Puno, it's in Highland, Highland in Peru. It was, uh, well, it was thanks to Fedora in the FoodCon 2016 in October. And also, I start spreading the you know, word in universities. And here we are in UPN. This is another university. Uh, we also went to UTP, thanks to Hackspace. It was 10 hours in a row. And they, what they do in Hackspace is uh, one night. They overnight, it's okay if I say that. They, they spend from 10 p.m. to 10 a.m., <laughs> like, and well, we did, um, besides the installation, we saw the movie, the two hours movie of the Linux, and I tried to, to explain step by step to newcomers. And one event, or main event, was uh, done in, at Juni. We called it Linux at Juni, Thanks to the Genome Foundation, we have the support. Um, and we have online people like Bastien, Norezzi, for people from Chile to, uh, to teach us how do they design the lines of the design. And after that, we have presences also, the present in the UPIG, that's another university. I am like numbering the, the, the events. I will ask you later. <laughs> and it was in December. This time well, I only have four, four people interested in what Linux is and what do we do and what the genome community is. And but in Untels, Untels is in Lima also. And we have more more audience. And well they, they were so interested about Linux because, you know, we, uh, our students have, have many projects, uh, like in Arduino, Raspberry Pi. They have many solutions. They, it, it, is, um, how it is a trend of startups, but they want to use the Linux. So I have an opportunity there. And I, I say, 
look what I did in Fedora. Fedora 25 uh, let me to, to do the little cluster, the chicken cluster I call, and do some HPC um, test. So it works. Uh, Fedora or Genome are projects that can be used in the real life, in the real solutions. And finally, the last event I did in December was in the uh, San Marcos University. See, yeah, we did it also in Python. We did a word workshop that include uh, also Python programming for one day. Uh, we are also uh, have we were in the squash back squash in November. Thanks to Bastian again, <laughs> because he was very supportive. Supportive. Uh, he he helped me with uh, a student one semester. He did like three times online. Uh, he was our guy guidance. Guidance. <laughs> Sorry. And well, a special thanks for Bastian to guide our students online three times. And thanks him to him. I have in the picture uh, Ariana Cordero. He is a student from uni, and he did uh, one. He fixed the bug of Gedit, the Gedit application, and the the bug was submitted. The patch well, the patch was submitted this for this version of you know. So at least we have, we have some uh, other the one successful bug fixed, and the other three are in the blogs, in the links, but they they were just attempt to try and try it to fix the bugs. And for from this year I have this summary that more than ten main genome events in Peru were were done not only in Lima. We have also in Puno, in Pucalpa, there's the jungle, there's a the highline, there's a the capital. And more than 10 universities help us also to spread the Genome uh, Fedora Award. Uh, as I mentioned, the San Marcos, Uni, PUC, UPN, UNTEL, UNU, UNA, UTP, UCL, UNICA, and UPI. And my, the newcomers only were, in that year, last year, only were from Uni. Uh, they were involved in five bugs. These are the numbers. And after continuing, I want to, because it's so, so um, neat early, I want to, to yeah, the 10 minutes left. I want to give uh, this, this as a gift, thanks to Backtrack Academy. And uh, they, they, they support us also. And uh, who can tell me how many universities were involved in 2016? Please raise your hand. It is a three second. <laughs> who did I say? Perfect. Please. <laughs> it's a girl, so and I, it is a good. Please take a picture. <laughs> Could you please take a picture? David, David, take a picture, please. See, I am so excited that you are, and are you new? So yeah, yeah. you're a newcomer and you deserve this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Take this one. <laughs> okay. It's uh, 10 minutes left, but I think I could say something about the online training I did. So far, uh, well, I, I have a, con well, they, Dev, Ac Dev Academy, it's a institution that contact me and as you see, they have like um, seasons and they interview people and I was invited here to talk about free software and if you go to uh, YouTube and you search my name on Fedora and Genome, you can see this, the, the four videos, they are in Spanish, <laughs> sorry. And I also had in contact with Backtrack Academy. Uh, they offered the intro, um, introduction to you know, to Genial uh, Linux. Uh, well, I presented Genome um, Fedora, and this is the basics. 
evasive administration commands. It lasts five, five hours. And well, as I am also, a pro well, no, if I am not a professor yet, I am like a lecturer. I do lecture in the university. Mm, I do in Aducil this year. This is for this year. And I did also present the, the projects and details again. And I traveled to Cusco thanks to GDG, the Google Developers Group at Cusco and SAC. And at that time, we, I was invited with the man, the man from Argentina. And we had uh, this big event in uh, the summer, the Linux Playa. Thanks again to the foundation, Ingridzi, because this time I was more, um, I don't know how to say exigent. <laughs> exigent. I, I, I asked to the people who attend this event to show more, more than contribution, like in not, not only in designer, programming, um, pr related projects to, you know. Um, and the beach, <laughs> we, we did some talks. Here's Fabian, and you can see him again. And to do the Linux Playa, we also have three sessions before that. We did one um, at Book with DHBIL, and also in Usil. Thanks for the lab. And you can see also in the links, you can see my blog, and I, I blog everything. And we try to apply to the GSOC this year. Okay. Well, we try to do it like six or seven students, only one success. <laughs> and this is the other um, idea. This is just only focused on the freshman. Freshman students at uni. They start programming in C and Python, but they, in uni, they use uh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. But I offer the idea, I, try, I said, why don't we try Fedora? Fedora come to, you know? And they say, okay, w I, we did the installation, and you can see many pictures, <laughs> and more pictures. And the final idea, or the, our last program was called the Genome Project Challenge. It started with a breakfast. We share a breakfast when the genome uh, release 324 was released. <laughs> I'm sorry. And we committed ourselves to every Sunday get together to do some, to be familiar with more genome technologies like VALA, uh, GTK, PyObject. Uh, we have Sundays, we have one guest from Brazil. He, he got in touch with me just by blog, because he saw my blog, he came to Lima, and he joined us. He is working on three boxes in boxes. Now, uh, well, we perce I present the activity of the persons, uh, the pro persons and the activities they did. And we have only two winners. <laughs> we have uh, Solange and Toto. Thanks to Backtrack Academy again, because they provided some scholarships. They offered their training in security. But besides this uh, challenge, we have other activities as a group now. I am not alone now. <laughs> I am with this group. Mm, uh, we went to the Florisol at UPM. We did some, we also have um, presence in the IT forum and the open CDF community also collapsed. They are doing um, research, scientific research. So they are also using Ubuntu and they wanted to, to know the difference of performance of, of Fedora, uh, the versus of Fedora and Ubuntu. And finally, we have persons in uh, the Marine, the, the, war, the Marine War of Peru. They, they call us to, to give some talks about security. Security, we talk about Squid and some other tools. So thank you so much for this again, uh, Genome, for all these years. If you have questions, are welcome. We have two minutes for questions. Yeah. 
I have more gifts and balloons and points for the house lead. <laughs> just a second. Sorry, I just sat down further for you. Um, I know that you're a lecturer in the universities. Um, for those of us who aren't, how could we get into them to give these kinds of presentations and work with these student groups? Oh, perfect. Th that's, that's a good comment because I want to try to get in contact with experts as you are to, to guide also my people online. Mm, the Genome Proof Challenge was a first step, I think. I need to be. Uh, I need to be sure that my people is well prepared to talk to you. So I hope in the future we have come. Up, we come come up with another program <laughs> because it's in the way. But you can contact me if you. I can arrange that with Hackerspace. Hackerspace is it, uh, a specialized group that de that have developers. So I, it's you are so welcome. Okay. Uh, please, Petra. Uh -huh. See. Uh, uh, just a second. We want the people who are watching the on the stream to be able to to listen to you as well. First, I'd like to thank you very much for presenting this to us. It's an amazing job to go spread the word and to make people aware of these opportunities. Um, and uh, I just wanted to understand, after you have approached them, how do you maintain them? How do you calculate how many people are still joining GNOME? Or how do you communicate with them? Because that's very difficult to communicate with so many people around the world and keep them motivated after the events are over. How do you guys work on that? Yes, it happens to me. Like, hey, they, they love my balloons, they love their gifts, but as soon as they have a, an issue with the hardware, they don't recognize something, they left and they switch again to Windows. Even all, I, uh, all the, my, my work was like, mm, but some of them are very, very talent. And I am in the way I said, as I said before, because I now have people from different universities, like a leaders, and they are, they are also I think they are also in my same symphony. <laughs> and we are working now as a group, as a real local community. And they want to get uh, stick with this um, challenge because we have other things to do. We have, have, we have to study, work, and share with family and friends. So I suggest always to keep in contact with uh, by IRC the you know, newcomers channel. And if they have other questions, like I, I not solve all the questions. I, I am a gateway to, 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 pe uh, to join people, I think. That's what I, I want, I think it's my labor. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. They say that I finished it. Yeah, I, I would say it. that uh, the, the conversion rate for uh, every newcomer's initiative has been very low, but uh, it's inherent to it. It's how it is. But uh, as, a, as someone working on GNOME nowadays, uh, I have uh, students from Peru contributing to softwares that I maintain, so I can testify that they are really reaching us out and doing very efficient work. She showed the Brazilian yeah, guy there. The he works guy. with me on boxes. And yeah, well. I've seen two or three more in the community, though, so that's Pretty good work, thank you. That's one question, please. Sorry. Um, I know in the past you've mentioned that English is a barrier to yeah. contributing. Can you tell, a little, uh, tell us a bit more about your experience onboarding <laughs> Spanish speakers and what you think we could do to help? Yeah, translation uh, has been uh, helped so much, but as I mentioned also, it's uh, it's crucial to, to coordinate the back to the back reporter. So, well, I insist because now I have freshmen, I have different uh, students level to get, to encourage the English in their lectures. Mm, specifically for you know, some of them, what do they do is they do the, they install a plugin in Mozilla. That's the true. They 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 reading in in, in Spanish. 
they are still, they, it's like a uh, custom that I cannot say, stop to do it, that, and do it. Do. I don't know exactly uh, now what to, to do about it yet. Okay, if it's finished, but I hope you don't mind. All, as you said, as you saw, all of my conference have people <laughs> in the front. Could you please <laughs> do me that favor with the balloons? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are genome, so you must be in the picture, please. That's a, the, <laughs> the <laughs> you are. Uh, This, with this, is okay? It's okay? No, with the fingers. fingers. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't realize we were going to do action yeah, as well. No? <laughs> come on, come oh, on, okay. Erich. Right. Yes, of course. Come <laughs> please. Uh, they have, I have more. Come. Yeah, I think that works. This is where. Sen and come on. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Now, how can you say? No, no, no. I mean, um, uh -huh. um, the sea on the sea on the sea. Oh, okay. Like that. Take it. Leave, leave, leave the gap, right? Gracias. Gracias.